Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. I just want to say thank you to all the returning viewers and hi if you're new here. Now today we are going to go scope out some camp spots. We actually do have these spots reserved and it's WMA, which is Water Management Area here in Florida. But before we do that, I have to unbox a camera. I've been having issues with my camera and it's just getting worse and worse. It is a GoPro 9, so it's been several years since I've gotten a new camera. So that's what we have over here in this box. So I've done some research on this camera. And it is an Insta360 Ace Pro. No, it's not a 360 camera, but this company does make 360 cameras. They just have made this regular vlogging camera. It's supposed to be better at low light situations, which the GoPro is horrible at low light situations. And um, it has a magnetic mount, which I can just pop the camera off. With the GoPro, I have to actually... Um, do the mount, the annoying mount thing, and then pull that off. And it has a big bulky um, case. It's the media mod. So I have to take that off, take the battery out, and the SD cards. Anytime I remove any of that stuff, and it's it can be tedious and, and a bit annoying. This is supposed to be much simpler. Now, I was worried about getting this camera because I didn't see where you could hook in a microphone. But then Jeff found that there was a microphone um, adapter for this camera. So we went ahead and ordered that as well. So I'll be opening that up. So let's get to it. It does have a lot of features like the GoPro minus the hiccups. All right, let's see what the hype's about. Ta-da! Isn't that a beautiful little action cam? Now, my favorite feature on the camera, other than the magnetic mount, so it, it's easy to handle is this feature here. Hmm. Hold on. Two little buttons and boom. You get a big screen, the full size screen. This is like my other vlogging camera, the Canon, where it had the flip up screen so I could see what I was shooting. Now the GoPro does have a tiny screen on the front, but nothing compared to this. That is amazing. And the media mod that actually goes in here doesn't encompass the whole thing and be, make it big and bulky. It's just a little plug that goes here that you can plug a microphone into. So that'll be much better and easier to get to. Let me see where the batteries are. The batteries go right here. Oh, it's already in there. So I'll probably have to go ahead and charge this up. I wanted to see if it used the same batteries as the GoPro because that'd be awesome if I could use those batteries, but they don't match. They're slightly different. This one is a little taller and wider. Yeah, no. Okay. I will have to get extra batteries for this. But I am super excited about this camera. Let's look at some of the accessories. This is the charging cable. Ooh, ooh. I think that's the mount. And then another mount. So it does have the same kind of screw pin that the GoPro has, but there's an attachment that you put it on the camera. It's here, and this will attach to any of my GoPro mounts, which is awesome. But see this here is a magnetic base. So the camera can plop in and out and it does have the little teeth to help keep it on. Oop. But yeah, I can just pull my camera off and on where before I had to unmount it or unscrew it and then unmount it. It was just, it was tedious. So this will be much better. Okay, let's see how easy this really is. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a nice sturdy mount too. So it's not just gonna fall off. Wow, and then Poop, comes right off. Ah, oh, that's gonna be amazing. How cool. The mic adapter. Awesome, this is so much better. Not as bulky. Okay, there it is, nice and small. Easy to work with. I had to remove the door and it just plugs into the USB-C 
here, like that. My Older Girl Pro, which is smaller than the one I'm using now. So with the Media Mod, as you can see, it encompasses the whole thing. And this one doesn't actually have a visual screen on the front, just a display. But the whole thing is encompassed and it makes it much bulkier. Where with this, this is about the same size as the newer GoPro. And it makes it not as bulky. Not to mention, I mean, come on, a flip up screen. What more can you ask for? Okay, let's go and get this thing charged and go on some adventures so I can get some footage on it and see how it is. Got to do some exploring. It is charging and updating right now. I did find one issue is there's nowhere to put this, <laughs> but I think I can actually mount it on to the stick, my holding stick for it. The updates are done. Another cool feature on this camera is you can double tap the screen and it will zoom in. Awesome. Wow, I turned down some of the lights just to see how it did in a low light situation. And with the GoPro, it's always dark in here if I don't have any lights on, but this actually has great lighting. And I love the front facing monitor because I can see it's a large monitor instead of the small tiny screen that the GoPro has. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the lighting on this camera is awesome. So we are at Cracker Barrel and it's right by a Lazy Days dealership. It is a huge dealership. One of the largest I've ever seen. We got the puppies in the back and we're gonna head to a campground. We do have a reservation there, but our issue is that we are scared that we can't get in. We've heard the roads can get pretty bad and it rained all day yesterday. So we're gonna go check it out first to see if we can even get back there. Getting on I-4 and heading about 13 miles. Do we have to get off I-4? Yeah, we're gonna go a mile. Oh, a mile, sorry, my bad. Now we're getting on I-75 for about five miles. Train signals on. All right, we made it to exit 266 off of 75. We made it to Morris Bridge Road, and I believe it's about seven miles down this road. So there are supposed to be a lot of hiking trails in this area as well. It's not as close to town. There is a gate code, I believe. Oh. Three quarters of a mile in. This doesn't look too awful bad. It's definitely a primitive road. Lower Hillsboro on the water management area. Momo, you want to come outside? Good girl. Oh, that actually says wildlife management area. Weird. What? I thought it was wild, um, water. It says uh, wildlife. Yeah, so he's going to unlock the gate and then we're going to go through. Definitely seems drier than I thought it would be, but we haven't gone back yet. This is actually what I was expecting. There's a bunch of huge puddles. Okay, let's get going. Go ahead and pull through and I'll close the gate. Let's close this gate back. That would suck if you forgot the code. Ready? Hey, catalog. Doesn't seem bad so oh, far. Potholes yet. Everybody's complaining about the potholes. The potholes? Yeah. The cars couldn't get through the potholes. Oh. They were so deep. Well, there are some wet spots here. But yeah, I was definitely expecting worse. Oh no, this is totally doable. So far. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's a stream that goes through. But that's, yeah, that's, that's the fine. The road is wider here than what it, I mean, so part of it you can't tell from satellite view because all the trees are hanging, but it looks narrower than satellite view. Oh, oh, okay, that's, oh. Okay, the further you get in, the more potholes and rutted it is. But if you go slow, I'm 
I'm sure it's doable. And not fly through. I've been on worse roads. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. There's another big water pit. Yeah, it's like a little river or stream. Well, we also want to see how busy the campsite is. People might have canceled because of, oh, that one's kind of bad. This area here seems a bit narrow. Oh, I see the camp sign up ahead. Okay, I was actually expecting worse, but not too bad. This is considered an equestrian primitive campground, Southwest Florida. Enjoy your public lands. So this is the camping area. The road does continue, but it doesn't look like many people take that. This is the camping area here. Nice big space, couple of picnic tables. Not bad. And it's not busy at all, very quiet. I think we might actually come up here. Oops, come on, Mama. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. It's definitely better than that busy parking lot that we're at. <laughs> it's our neighbor's dog. Well, soon to be neighbor if we come here. So here are some of the general camping rules. And it does say dogs are allowed in campgrounds, but limited to two dogs per reservation. Quiet time is at 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. It's probably for like generators or loud noises. Campfires are permitted only in the fire rings. Jeff just pointed out that there are four picnic tables here, so they probably only allow four rigs at one time because if you have a campfire, it has to be in the actual fire ring. But there's no host here also, so I think this will actually work. It's a beautiful spot. All right, Mama, go ahead. Good girl. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. If we camped here, we would share a spot anyways. We just kind of bunch together and use one fire ring. That would leave more space open and available, but you do have to have a reservation for these areas. Rain here, for the most part, it's soaked in except for the potholes. Yeah, the, not a lot of uh, wetness except the potholes, like you were saying. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head to the next spot. We've backtracked about two miles to get to this campsite and this does have a locked gate as well. So Jeff is calling Dave now for the combination so we can unlock it and head in. This one is not as far back, only a quarter of a mile. Lower Hillsboro Wildlife Management Area. A little higher than the surrounding ground here. Yeah, this road is definitely better than yeah, the last bad. one. And it's not as far back, so. Uh, let's see. Now, uh, the site uh, ours was in was primarily in trees. This one looks to be more sun. More open. Yeah, There's hiking trails listed here. Uh, Welcome to Lower Hillsboro Washburn. Oh, wait, this this oh. oh, this is. Oh, there's a big fifth wheel there. Oh, yeah, there's a big fifth wheel here. And, uh, um, oh, and, a, and a trailer. And a trailer. So this one's definitely more popular than the other one. Well, it's closer to the road, so yeah. it's probably why it's more popular. Yeah. I mean, it's nice, though. There are already two, several, two rigs here, several so. Several yeah. yeah, either one of them would have been, it would have been nice if we could have said, all right, we got three RVs, but we're all going in one site. And either one would have been fine. Right, I think that's yeah, the truth. They're plenty big and separated enough. Or we uh, could all squeeze okay. together. Anyway, we'll we'll head back and then uh, Aja's been filming some of it so she can show you. I'm not sure if they're leaving or or just coming. Well, we're supposed so. to leave at noon if they're leaving. Oh, 
Looks like they're... I think they just got here. They're supposed to come in at 3, and there isn't even 3 yet. So. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, well, yeah. I like both sites, but that was a cool site. Another thing about this camera, it has the autofocusing on the face. What you doing, cat dog, huh? Zoom in. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Ah, this chain is a lot harder than the other one. Son of a... Okay, we're gonna head back and start packing up to head here, or the other side, actually. Well, we made it back to the rigs, and I have to make this quick because we have to get to our new campsite. And I just love the camera, all the features that it has the low light capability, the magnetic mount, the zoom in that it can do. It's just an all out better camera. The front facing screen that I can see where it's a full screen. It's just so far, I've just love the camera and I do have to test it out and I will let y'all know how the camera is working out for me. I haven't done any time lapse yet on the camera. Um, with the GoPro, I had to do a time warp when I was driving because the time lapse didn't have stabilization in it. And anytime I did a driving time lapse, it was jittery. So I have a feeling that that might be the same for this, but I'll test it out and see and let y'all know how that goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. And once again, thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, y'all. Got the truck hooked back up and we are ready to roll out of here. Some fresh air and an old friend I'm so glad that we started talking again Yo, turn up the radio, I love this song Remember when we used to stay up all night long How's it been going though, how's it mom? The world's just so empty, this is so damn calm If we stick on the highway, we can drive all night long If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat We can drive around to the sky